you want to go to space as a nurse. That's a real thing. I didn't know that until like last month for some reason. Um, so if you wanted to do something like that, all those things are out there for you as well. Boop Nation! Welcome back to the channel. Hey, you peep the shirt? Y'all know what it is. Y'all know where to buy it. Link will be in the description. So I was recently invited to a Zoom class to talk about attending college and education while you're in the military. It's a lot of good information. It's a lot of helpful information for anybody that is active duty in the Navy specifically, but it can go for any of the four branches of service that you're in, as well as if you're outside of the service to include scholarships, or Pell Grants and stuff along those lines. I specifically cut out a lot of the video because I didn't want the video to be too long, but the link to that full video will be in my description box. So make sure you guys click on that if you guys wanna see the whole two hour conversation. Hey, before you do anything, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so y'all know when I drop new videos. And without further ado, let's check it out. Let's move next to uh, HM1 Gibson. Good afternoon, good morning, everyone. Uh, depending on where you are, I am H1 Gibson. Uh, this is actually my first time in this Zoom meeting, so I appreciate being invited. Um, I'm just kind of here just to give a little bit of uh, insight about how I got here, where I am. Uh, I am currently active duty. I've been in the Navy for 13 years, and I received my bachelor's degree in nursing uh, at Texas A&M and Corpus Christi. And uh, I'm an HM1, and I'm a registered nurse with a bachelor's degree, and I did it all without uh, doing a Navy program as well as uh, using just tuition assistance to get my uh, prerequisites done. But my entire RM program for the 18 months was done with my GI Bill. Um, it was extremely hard. It was extremely taxing. Uh, but just like Chief said, is that it's all about time management. Um, I got the support of my chain of command. I told them, I sat everybody down, my LPO, my chief, my DIVO department head, and I was like, if I give you my 40 hours, will you let me go or do you support me going to nursing school? Uh, my officer said yes. My HM1 told me I was gonna fail, but it was okay. He was just, you know, being him. And then my chief told me that I'm not gonna pass, but he loved me or whatever that meant and gave me his blessing as well. And um, if it wasn't for that support, of my chain of command, uh, I wouldn't have been able to get through it. Um, like I said, I used my I used the post 9/11 GI Bill. I didn't use the Montgomery GI Bill because uh, uh, for some reason it was going to take too long. There's there's a lot of different ways that you, that people can do it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, e benefits. If you ever want to know anything about your uh, any benefits that you have once you become a veteran or any benefits that you want to have for education wise, e benefits. If you want to buy a house, e benefits. Education, e benefits. Um, like I said, with like I said, with time management, um, I'm one of those people where I have to write stuff down. If you don't write it down, you don't hold yourself you you don't hold yourself accountable. Uh, I'll write it and I'll post it all over my house to where I'll be like, oh yeah, I need to do that. Oh yeah, I need to do that because we're all human. We all have a bunch of things that are going on and we always forget. So time management, write stuff down, keep yourself accountable. Um, scholarships. There are a ton of scholarships that are out there. Um, specifically, if you want to become a nurse, one great website is nurse.org. They have everything under the sun. And I mean it, like everything under the sun from if you want to have, if you're an LVN, LPN, to when you want to get your doctorate to become, or to become a CRNA. If you want to go to space as a nurse, that's a real thing. I didn't know that until like last month for some reason. Um, so if you wanted to do something like that, all those things are out there for you as well. Um, military friendly colleges. So I'm stationed here in San Antonio and the Alamo Colleges is a big hub when it comes to doing prerequisite courses. Um, and I know some people that live in the Dallas area, they have that. San Diego, uh, I was in Bethesda recently and they have all that stuff going on over there as well. So um, military friendly colleges, um, that can help you do your prerequisites. Um, always for when it comes to accreditation purposes, always check the state's accreditation and that school's accreditation through uh, CCEN. And I believe the other one was ACEN. Um, and specifically for me, since I'm here in Texas, I always check, I check both of those as well as I check the Texas Board of Nursing because it'll tell you what schools all are qualified within that. Um, for their accreditation, uh, as well as you'll go, they have a military section 
especially here in the state of Texas, that'll tell you, hey, if you are a Navy corpsman, or if you are an Air Force medic or Army medic, which there shouldn't be any in here, but hey, we don't discriminate. Go Navy, beat Army. Um, so they have specific seats specifically for uh, medical veterans enlisted wise. So corpsmen, Army, and Air Force as well. So those are definitely one of those things that you guys wanna check out. Uh, COVID has been a thing, obviously, since we'll say last November, but March, at least here in the United States, uh, to where everything is going online. I went on, I went to school online before it became popular. Uh, so um, you can go to nursing school online. I went to nursing school online for the whole year and a half. I did all of my clinicals here at my local hospital. And like I said, my, my chain of command afforded me that time for me to do school, give them my 40 hours, as well as me taking care of clinicals and me still taking care of my family and trying to live a uh, somewhat social life. Uh, don't forget about those special programs. You got MESEP, you got State 21. You also do have the six month early out program if you wanna try to go to school six months um, or if you wanna try to get out of the military because you wanna go to school six months. Uh, you also have the golden and the silver ticket which allows for you to essentially kind of take a break from the military. So if you wanna take a break from the military for up to two years and then you wanna come back in, or well, I'm sorry, take a break from the military so you can take care of uh, whatever educational things that you wanna take care of, you can come back into the military after you finish that. Uh, and then you also have, at least specifically for nurses, you could talk to a recruiter. They have the nurse candidate program, which allows for you to go to school for 24 months. And then of course you also have a uh, direct commission. So for me, that's the route that I'm heading right now because I already have my degree and I already have my license and I already work. So once I hit a specific time, then I will go ahead and I will put in for the direct commission. That's pretty much all that I have. I just wanna let everybody know that there's no excuse. There's no excuse. There are other people in this world that would love to be in the position that you're in to have education, just like vaccines. We're not going there. But just like education, other people would love to be in the position that you are in to get a free education of some way, shape or form. So make sure you guys take advantage of it. Learn new things every day. That's all I have. If anybody is looking to reach me, you can find me on Facebook. I also have a, um, a Instagram, a YouTube, and a Facebook group called The Boot Nurse, where I put out nursing information for whatever reason that you may uh, that you may have questions about. I'm super active on Instagram if you have any questions as well, and I also do giveaways for like nursing prep stuff as well as other medical prep stuff. So uh, keep pushing, keep fighting, and that's all I got. One hour later. H1 Gibson, closing remarks. Man, I really do learn new things every day. I appreciate the opportunity uh, for uh, everybody letting me come by and you know speak my truth, so to speak. Get a mentor because if you want to be a billionaire, you will find a billionaire and try to imitate the things that they did. Or if you want to be a millionaire or if you want to be an engineer, it's like if you want to get there, you got to find the people who are already there so you can trek the line that they did because they did something right and they did something wrong. So if that's what you want to do, get a mentor and, it, and you can have a million mentors. You're not you're not only limited to one, uh, but that's my uh, my whole spiel. And I hope everybody uh, could take something from this. And thank you again.